Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video I'll be showing you how you can change the color of any component as well as how you can change the background color of the screen. So first and foremost before we change the color of any component let me tell you one simple thing. Now for changing the color of any component in Android you should first know the hex number or the hex code equivalent to that particular color. So first let's go ahead and change the background color of this text view over here which says hard work beats talent. So I'll go inside the text tab. Now inside the text tab I'll search for the text view and just below android colon text I'll write down android colon. Now currently I want to change the text color so I will type text color over here. And inside this double code, I need to type an hex number which will be equivalent to a certain color. Now, if you want, you can note it down. The range for this hex colors starts from hash 60 and it ends at hash 6f. The color equivalent to hash 60 is black and the color equivalent to hash 6f is white. Further, if I go on Google and I type in material design color palette, Next, if I click on this link, the links are basically provided in the description and I choose the color palette option here. You can see Google has basically provided you some of the best color options that can match your design. And these are the color ranges for this particular blue color. Similarly, if you want light blue, you can go for this color. If you want dark blue, you can go for this color. Okay. So currently, I'll just choose one random color from this. I'm just choosing this 2196F3. I'll copy this. Next, I'll go to Android Studio. And over here, in text color, I'll first put a hash. Then I'll paste the color, which says 2196F3. And you can see the color has also been listed on the left side. Now, if I go to design, you can see the color of my text is changed to blue. Similarly, if I want to change the text color of this button, I'll go inside the text tab. I'll go inside the button. And again, I'll write down Android colon text color. And this time, I'll again choose the same color. That is 2196F3. And now, as you can see, the color of my button text has been changed to blue again. But this blue color doesn't look that good so I'll just change this to some other color. I know the hex color for it, it's D32127 so I'll just choose that. Now the red color is looking somewhat better on the button. Next let me show you how you can change the background color of your button. I'll go to text tab again and inside the button below the android text color I'll type down android colon background and I'll give this some color hash. Now, I'll again go to the color palette and see which color can suit the best. So, I'll go to the color palette and this time, you can see over here, I have all the colors for red. So, I'll just choose a lighter color for my button. So, I'll just choose this FFC DD2. So, I'll just copy this. Next, I'll go to Android Studio and I'll just paste this color over here. After that, if I go to design, you can see here, the background color of my button is changed to red. Okay, similarly if you want, you can change the background color of the text view as well. So next if I go to text over here and just below the android colon text color, if I type down android colon background and I give this a particular color, currently I'll just keep the default red color which was there. You can see over here, the background of the text view is also changed to light red. But currently, since the width of my text view is wrap content, you can see the background color is only surrounding this text over here. If I change the width of the text view to match parent, so I'll go to text, I'll change the width to match parent. Once I change the width to match parent, you can see over here, this red color is now occupying the entire width of the screen. So this is how you can change the background color of any component or attribute in Android. Next, if I want to change the background color of the screen, I'll go to the text tab and then inside the relative layout tag, I'll write down Android colon background and this time 
I will just choose a number A, B, C, D, E, F. And if I go to the design tab, you can see over here, the background color of the screen is changed to blue. So this red color is not looking good over here. So I'll go to the text tab and remove the Android colon background from here. And this time, if I go to the design tab again, you can see over here, I have actually changed the text color as well as the background color of the button. And I've also shown you how you can change the background color of your screen. So guys, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll be showing you how you can add a background image. So in the meantime, if you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button. And if you want to learn Android from scratch, just click on the subscribe button. Thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.